the most common question which I keep getting in almost every interaction which I have with CSI and life science aspirants. And that is, sir, what is the best way to study for CSI and life sciences and that too in the last 30 or 50 days? So in today's video, we will look into that logically in a strategic manner and we will try to come to a conclusion. Now, first things first, if you are preparing for CSI and then congratulations, you are thinking strategically already. But now you have to think logically too. So when we look at the CSIR net syllabus, we get scared. We feel that, okay, there are 500 plus topics and subtopics. It's really overwhelming, very difficult and not really possible to, uh, you know, get that. Studying all of that is very difficult. But what if I tell you that you have to reverse the psychology and start looking at how much marks you need to secure or you need to acquire to qualify the CS and with a JRF or LS. More or less, always the cutoff gravitates around 60%. So out of 200 marks, if you have secured 60% marks, that is 120 plus marks, you are through, right? Now, let's look at the sectional um, marks which we can get. So if we look at part C, we have to attempt 25 questions. Each question carries four marks. So basically, if Theoretically speaking, if all my questions of part C is 100% correct, I'm very near to cracking a JRF. So basically, if you want to qualify CSR with a JRF or lecturership, you have to keep this 60% in mind. And to acquire that 60%, 50% of that can be achieved by just cracking the part C nut. Now, when it comes to part C, the problem is, if we have one type of question, okay, it, the next question is not similar, it varies. So what we did at Biotechnica is we gave our student a big pool of 5,000 questions. And we said, you attempt as many questions as you can in fixed amount of time. So generally we say around one and a half hour or 90 minutes to 100 minutes, you should spare for part C, right? So in that 100 minutes, our students are now practicing as much part C questions now, we took one part C question of CS Hanet and we created similar 10 or 15 questions. So now what happens is for every one previous year question paper question for CS Hanet part C, we have 15 or 20 similar questions. So you practice that particular type of question 20 times. And to be very frank, part C is lengthy. So you need to practice reading, you need to practice comprehending, you need to think which uh, formula or which theory will be applicable here and then try to solve it. So what we have done is we have used this sequence in such a way that we have 5,000 questions which are similar to the part C of CS Anet. In fact, a little higher in the uh, difficulty level. So what happens now is then in the last 30 days or 50 days, if you are practicing this part C question as much as many times number of times your chances of qualifying is faster easier and for sure confirmed but now the next uh, uh, question to be asked here is all right what about revision how should we revise so my suggestion to you is by now you should have already created notes if you have not created then probably you are not targeting the June exam so if you have the notes ready start looking at it revise using pictorial methods so once you started the concept, try to recall by drawing its flowchart, by drawing its uh, diagram. So what happens is that way it registers in your mind faster. And many times coloring that diagram also helps you register it longer. So even though it looks like a time pass, but when you are coloring a diagram, it registers in your mind in the pictorial memory and you will remember longer. Coming to the formulas, remember that you can't really remember all the formulas at one go. So we do have a formula sheet for CSI Net. You can download from below. And also, we have created cheat sheets. So for every unit of CSI Net Life Science, every week, Biotechnica is coming up with a cheat sheet. This week, we have launched the unit one cheat sheet. And every week, almost every three days, we are going to release one cheat sheet, which will have formulas, which will have a lot of tips, tricks, and strategies. So if you want to download that, check the details in the description and subscribe to Biotechnica's newsletter because that is where we are sending all this absolutely free of cost. So let me repeat the strategy which you have to follow. Practice as many Part C questions as you can. Biotechnica has that in the AIMNET 2.0 test series. The second is use pictorial memory. And the third would be go ahead and download the cheat sheets. 
details in the description. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section what problems you are facing in preparation. I'll definitely give you a solution. Thank you. Take care. Bye.